Okay, so you have to remove the tank covers and the side panels here. Yeah, I'm wearing this contraption for later on when I put this on. I don't want to actually like hold it one hand, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, you got to remove all this. I've gone ahead and cleaned the uh, all these edges down in here because the shroud itself, you can see it has the 3M tape all in it. Now, that's got to actually stick to something. So make sure you use contact cleaner or some other type of degreaser, basically. Uh, mine is a little rag I had. It got pretty nasty. So here it is. Yeah, that's just from... I keep my bike pretty clean, too. That was just me actually just wiping it off like that. So anyway... Took the seat unit off too because the seat unit mine comes actually comes up to here and actually sort of gets in the way so anyway what this thing's going to do is it's going to sort of slip over and kind of grab onto the opposite side of this lip all around here and right around in here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um i'm gonna dry fit it first i'm not gonna actually put uh the, i'm not gonna actually be peeled the 3m off just yet i'm gonna put it on and then we're just gonna take a look at it and then i'll actually pull it back off put the 3m uh sticky side on and then and then it'll be permanent. So here we go. So like I said, all you're trying to do is slip it up over this. Um, try not to scratch anything, because you know if you want to take this off or whatever later on. And there you go. That is like pretty much there. It's, it's not really going anywhere. Yeah, you can see where this is right here. See that? See, it's kind of got a, a lip to it there. Grabs onto it there. Yeah, I mean that's like because it sort of sort of grabs it like that, kind of like a cat to a curtain, I guess. Um, it doesn't really move. It's not like it just relies on the 3M. It actually has like you know the, the carbon fiber expands and moves like this. Uh, it's just very strong when it does. It. It's not like steel. Steel can't really bend as far as sort of as carbon fiber does, but the tensile strengths, you know, compared and all that kind of thing. So this guy actually bend and wrap around. So. That's, that's legitimately on there, even without the, like I haven't put the 3M on there at all. See, I'm trying to, like the tank's moving, yeah. Watch right this right here, you maybe see it kind of move maybe. So, put the 3M sticky on it and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I can just pop this off real quick. Yep, okay. So, without peeling up the thing, yeah, talk amongst yourselves, guys. Okay, here's the moment of truth. So, without really jacking this up, but I don't think I will. Just go ahead and one motion. Just sort of get it on there. And I like to use the German method of uh, guten Tag. Get this bad boy set up. Yeah, like that. That is not moving. I don't know. Like everybody goes, oh, that little tiny bit of 3M. I, I, I'm looking at it, man. I don't know how you're gonna, like, you can really pull on that. That is freaking cool. Oh, man. It's the first piece of carbon fiber I got for this bike. SE Composites. Yeah. So I got this from Hustle Hard Racing. Um, talked to Mark literally Wednesday morning. I said, Mark, man, I really gotta have one of those. I got this track day coming up. Um, you know, what can we do? He's like, well, you know, shipping's gonna be pretty bad to get out there, so you know, we'll just we'll just do it regular way. And uh, they surprised me and sent this thing uh, two day air, like sent it. It was in California Wednesday, and then uh, I'm in Georgia, and it was here this morning. So like, wow, I cannot believe. The kind of support these guys have given me over the years. Huge shout out. HustleHardRacing.com, Mark Harper, Brandon, love you guys. Oh, she's coming along. 
kids want something later on my bike. Look at that. It's that magic fairy does. I don't know if they think Tinkerbell is going to help me out or something. Uh, anyway. Oh, it's going to be good. Good stuff from this weekend. So I'm going to put this all back together. I'm going to put some, uh, I peeled up the, uh, the tank grips. I'm going to put those back on here because you have two sets of the tank grips. You got one on here and one on the actual shroud. So anyway, I'm going to put it all back together and get a quick look at it. So Shazam! Check it out. It's done. I think it looks good. Look at that. It's on there too. Like it really is on there. There's a, a little bit of creaking you can kind of hear. Um, but that's not too bad. So I sat on it and the biggest difference I could tell like right off and immediately is that I don't have to go as far forward with my leg uh, to catch the tank because normally the tank sort of you, you can catch the tank like right here but then it you know obviously stops and rolls back like maybe to like that so with this guy up here I just sort of move my butt over and I'm in place it's re it's really good you know um, this thing right here is what you catch your leg on and now you can actually ride the bike with your legs and I can almost tell I can get catch that with that maybe you know when you get into the brakes and the way you hang on to it you can actually move off the seat and be confident that you're not going to go flying off the uh, the front of the bike so it looks really good uh, like I said I'm gonna be there tomorrow I'm actually leaving at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning uh, I'm not excited about that but we can make it happen um, other than that hustle hard racing thank you so much I can't believe that we got this taken care of in less than two days so hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, click the subscribe button. Give me a like. Tell me what you think. Uh, was this good? Was it bad? Did you care? <laughs> Obviously, if you cared, you're going to say something. So anyway, uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Maybe we'll get some track action. Maybe we'll get some uh, actual like track feedback later on in the video. Laters.